hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to uh, a new series of the seek gather and create challenge now if you don't know what that is seek gather and create uh, is a challenge that i run over over on my instagram channel um with my fabulous co-hosts teen hoist um, melanie i can't ever pronounce her surname <laughs> mixed media magpie uh laura dennison and we've got Jana Clinard harris as well along this time five of us this is this time it's five weeks and each week we will announce on a sunday five things to find to seek um and then you can create whatever mixed media project you'd like to do so with those objects so today uh, we needed to find something pink so i have found some pink crepe paper here and this little bit of pink ribbon as well here um, we also needed to find dots, so that kind of came in there with that. But I've also picked out a piece of the scrapbook paper here with the dots on, as I like that. Um, we needed to find a cat, and I found this image which I've cut out um, of a little girl with a cat. <laughs> Very much reminds me of a photograph of me uh, when I was about the same age, trying to get to um, our, our cat um, at the time. And I've always had cats, so it was quite a nice little memory. Um, that one so I chose that one scribbles is the next thing and I came across uh, this which is something that my daughter did she was trying out some pastels and she's just done some scribbles just to test them out so I've nabbed it and I'm going to be including that and the last thing was letters or numbers and I found this which I made a while ago which is a stamp a sort of handmade stamp using craft foam um, and a piece of cardboard where I've put these letters on and then sort of made marks into the craft foam. So I'm going to be using that as well. Now, to get started, the last, uh, sort of trying to pick a journal to work in and I picked up this one which is my Dina Wakely media one and um, turned to the next page and found that I'd already slapped this pink on using up some paint obviously um, so I thought brilliant that's a good start for me and I don't often work in this size I find larger sizes a bit more daunting um, but I felt like it I felt let's go big today and so I haven't really got a plan of action much um, so we're just going to see what happens and where this takes me so let's start off with some of this pink crepe paper and some of, I'll just tear some of these dots out as well. And the, let's do some of the scribbles as well. This is oil pastels, so the oil pastels is going to react differently to uh, mediums and stuff that I've got on there. So. It might be interesting. We'll see. So, having torn some of those bits out, let's just grab some matte medium and stick some of that down. Where's my little glue scraper? Here it is. People ask me about this all the time. It is actually a silicon face mask applicator, like a, for for beauty beauty face masks. But I find them just perfect for glue. <laughs> so. Um, you can buy them. I think I bought just a couple on Amazon. They're very cheap. So I'm not going to overthink this. I'm just going to just get some stuff down. And um, I've never actually, I don't think I've ever actually tried using crepe paper, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to react. But because it can, you can kind of stretch it, and it's a bit peculiar uh, feelings. Um, so let's just see how it goes. This page that I'm working on is. Uh, I think it's watercolour paper, so it should be super absorbent. Let's get some of the scribbles down. I think I want to put the scribbles smaller. Yeah, just little bits here and there. Put some there. So I'm, I'm really super happy that this uh, challenge is back. I re it's one of my favourites to do. I really enjoy it. 
um, you just never quite know how the pages are going to go but having those things that you've collected to include just gives you a really great starting point each time and if, if you're watching Melanie I do apologize for not being able to pronounce your, your surname um, it's Thoreau, Thoreau. You'll have to, you'll have to let me know exactly how you how you say it, Thoreau. But um, you can find, uh, well, you can find all the hosts over on Instagram, and I'll link them down below in the description as well. So you can go over and check out what they're making with the pumps, and also you can pop over um, to my Instagram channel and to visit the uh, the hashtag Seek Gather Create, um, just to see what everybody else is creating using these same. Um, same things and there's also I have to say a little competition each week so if you do take part make sure to follow the hosts and to tag both us and uh, the seat gather create and you'll be put into a little prize draw each week to win some prizes all the details um, like I say are over on my Instagram channel and I'll pop them down below as well so I'm quite liking how the uh, the crepe paper's going on. I think I want to put some over this hot pink. We'll see if we get a little bit of a contrast then going on. Uh, it's very strange working so large because I really, I, I very rarely do. Oops. Doesn't matter if it's a bit wrinkly. Of a big bit, a big bit of scribble, maybe. Yeah. Oops. That bit does not want to do what it want, what I want it to do. Let it do its own thing. Whoop, whoop. So whilst I'm doing this, what's been happening with me? I've um, it's summer, so the kids are off which uh, does mean that I've got less time, less time to be creative, more time with the kids, which is great, less time to be creative. Um, but I am trying to come in when I get the chance. Uh, and I have got a few things as well going on and also coming up. So at the moment I am teaching a, f uh, a little art journaling course here in Sheffield, which is fabulous this is I'm going to be teaching there tonight as well so a five week course around week two so that's loads of fun and I've also got another in-person um, workshop coming up which is um, the fabric wrapped journal that's a two-day workshop at the art house in Sheffield um, still places available if you <clears throat> if you're around in this area and you fancy coming along I can give you the information down below, like I say again. Um, and in a few weeks time, or is it? Maybe it's less that, than that, I've lost track of the time. T uh, the 10th of August, I am running my little one-off live class called Weave Me A Story. Um, that is gonna be two hours live with me. Um, and I'm going to show you how I create my favourite little weaving project. So if, if any of you followed along my 100 day project where I did 100 weaves a day, I'm going to pick some of my favourite ones from that and show you how I recreate them, um, how I create them. So if you do fancy coming along, there's again still places on that one available. And I've set it so that the time zone is more suitable to those of you that are in the US and Canada. Um, so it'll be 9.30 uh, UK time, uh, so I believe that's about 4.30 uh, Washington time. I'm not very good with all the different time zones, but you should be able to uh, check that out and see if it works for you. Um, yes, and I'll also let you know how you can find that if you do fancy coming along. Um, I think it's going to be a really fun, fun two hours uh, doing some weaving. back to the job at hand I have added that collage and now I am going over in my usual fashion 
with some gesso just to fill in and around and start playing around with the college that I've got creating that texture. Ooh, I'm getting some horrible bits of gunk. Ooh, cloth, 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 cloth. There we go. So I'm liking that so far. I, I like some of that hot pink to stay around. So I think I'm just going to put some water on my brush and just thin out. Just do it thinly and then just use my cloth just to blend it a little bit better. That, <clears throat> that, uh, oh, I've lost my words. Crepe paper does kind of go sort of rough around the edges, but I quite like that really. So I might just do that on some of the other pieces if I can as well. Okay. <laughs> so I'm liking that. Uh, let's get some letters down. So I'll uh, be back in a moment. I'll just give this a quick dry. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's more or less dry. Now before I do take uh, do some of the letters, I did notice that the crepe paper is not colour fast. So I just had a, another quick idea to just see if I can get some colour off it without actually using it itself. So I'm going to give this a go. This may not work at all, but we will see. So I'm going to put water down on the page, lay my crepe paper down, put some more water over the top. So and this is just water, no glue or anything like that. And then I'm going to peel it off and see if it's going to leave me any color. Well, it does, but very, very faint, very, very faint. Yeah, I'll give it another go because um, it does leave a, a, a shape that's not wholly white. So I'll do a, a strip over here in this white and see if you can notice that a little bit better. I might not pick it up on the camera very well, but it is like a subtle pink rectangle I've got going on there. So water, crepe paper and water over the top. So I used to do this a lot with the tissue paper. You used to be able to do tissue paper bleeding, um, but quite often now when you buy it, it's colour fast and it won't do it. So let's see, perhaps I need to leave it on a bit longer, but um, there, can you see? Maybe it's not picking it up, but I'm getting like a subtle um, pink little shapes. I'll hold it up, see if you can pick, make it out. Maybe not. You have to just believe me if you can't make it out, but it is quite effective actually, and it's in a subtle way. Right, let's have a go at adding some letters in. So I'm gonna use black gesso for this. Where's my black gesso? Mm, there it is. Brush, 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 brush. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to just give um, that's why not to do it go over here. We've not actually used this bit of the stamp, so I'm just gonna put a layer of the gesso over. Because say I made this just with very simple it just with a piece of craft foam um, cut into shapes cut into the letters and and stuck on that's it's e easy peasy really let's see how well it works I'm not gonna think about it too much I'm just gonna get it pressed down give it a good rub and see what we get Oh, yeah I like that <clears throat> let's uh, let's add a bit more paint and do a bit more should we do a little a different section let's do over here I could <laughs> I could get my brayer out which would probably be easier but um, my roller and uh, and roll the paint on but 
Oh, yeah, I've got my brush now. So I'm quite early with this week one. Um, uh, generally, uh, we put up what you're to find on the Sunday and I will show you what I have created using those prompts on the Thursday. However, I'm going camping um, with the family from tomorrow till Sunday. So I thought I would get mine done now. Okay. Yeah? How's, what do you think? Obviously you can't answer me, but I'm quite liking that. Um, yeah, I, I, that's okay. I like that. So let's give that another dry and um, see what else we can add. Okay, so that's nice and dry now. I'm thinking maybe to liven up the edge a little bit. So I'm going to tear this off, this edge off like that turn it over and layer that back on yeah yeah I think so so ooh, glue glue who has got the glue or oh, should I just grab my stapler I've got my glue There's not much left in this glue, so I'm just going <laughs> to try and get it out here. Right. So some glue along that edge like so. And then I'm just going to stick that down. create a bit more of an interesting edge to it. I quite like the hessian that's showing through from the page underneath as well. Okay, what now? What now? What should we add? So what of the pieces have I got left to add? So we've got scribbles and something pink. We've got dots. We've got letters and numbers. Um, so we need a cat. Um, I've also got this pink tab there as well quite like to include somehow um but i think before i add those let's grab out my fave a bit of coffee this is just a water spray to oh gosh it's nearly empty just to uh, we i can never get that word um No, nope, it's gone again. It's one of those words that just won't stick in my head. You know what I mean. It's dry. I'm making it wet again. That's the word. Um, God, that sounds. Uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, let's add some coffee in. Just darkening it here and there, adding some splashes. going over on that sort of ripped edge and highlighting that a little bit I mean you know me I I love um, my white space and there's plenty of white on this but I do think it needs a little bit more color here and there actually It seems to be, to me, too... Um, the composition's not quite right in my mind. It's too much everywhere. So I need to perhaps go back in with my gesso now and, um, and just try and, and bring some of that more solid white space back in to try and sort this composition out in my mind. I mean, it's a, it's only in my own head, you know, what looks right and what doesn't. And obviously what appeals to me might not be the same as what you think. So, um, but anyway, that's what I'm thinking. It needs, it needs to be toned down a little. Just thinking this.
Perhaps we need to introduce a slightly different colour into it. What do you think? We've got a bit of brown and we've got a bit of, well, we've got quite a bit of pink. What about some metallic -y blue? Maybe some big old spots of it because we've got dots, haven't we? So we could include our own big old dots, maybe. Some over here. Yeah, yeah, that's better. I'm liking that back background a bit more now. Another quick dry. Okay, so that's dry and I have grabbed my ink tense pencils to add us in a few more scribbles. So I'm gonna try for that deep, deep blue actually. And I'm gonna go around these around these dots that I've created here. So even though I've got the scribbles that my daughter did, just adding in even more so here. And we can activate this with a bit of water as well, since they're intense pencils, just here and there. Okay, yes, liking that. Right, so now we need an image. So I've got my little cat image here and it's just deciding where I want that to go. I think I want the little tab there behind the go. There was another cat on the other side, <laughs> but I chose this one. Right, I'm just gonna stick that piece of material down, that ribbon, piece of ribbon there, like that. Just might need a bit more glue there. There we go. And where is she going to sit? Where is this little girl going to sit? Here? To the edge maybe? It's kind of trying to find an area where she's not absolutely lost. Maybe, maybe let's have her coming out the edge of the page. What do you think? Um, I feel like she is getting a bit lost on this background. It's a bit, and what's the composition saying? The composition's kind of, as I tend to do quite often, um, make sure I sort of pull into this diagonal here. So in that sense, Yes, your eye moves around the page and drags you into this corner, so I think actually she needs to be in that corner. That's what I'm going to go for, I think. Slightly overlapping there. Does she need anything underneath her? Let's have a think. I'm just trying to get a gauge of... No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think... Because I like the... Um, the background of the page coming through the, the, the cutout of the chair that I've got there. So let's just get this stuck down. Let's just go for it. Okay. Come on, hanging off the edge a little. There. So we have all elements on this page now. It's a little bit, <laughs> this is huge and I do struggle working this big. Um, but you know, that it's looking okay. I'm happy with it. I think we need something extra and I can't quite think what that is. Hmm. Maybe more coffee. Let's go. Let's add a little bit more in. Um, 
of the coffee and see. I think I actually need some more coffee itself. I know this water's dirty, but I'm just going to use my little my paint water to mix that up. Just. Uh, paler colour than um, than I had previously. Highlighting that sort of diagonal, which will bring your eye into the uh, to the cat. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a bit better. One less dry. Well, one less. One more dry, and then we'll see if anything else need is needed. Okay, so that's dry quite happy with this um so what I did do was find some words to add just out of an old book so I'm gonna stick those down now and it says he stayed For the child, oops, flip it over, a bit fiddly, would give him, and the last word is uh, bacon, oops, that's upside down, so it says he stayed for the child would give him bacon. It does look like that cat's about to leap off any second. He's a little unsure. <laughs> well, there we go. I think I'm going to call that one done. I hope you've enjoyed watching that one. Um, join me next week for num week number two. And um, like I say, head over to Instagram and see what else everyone else is creating with the same items. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.